guys, I'm Kristen Baldwin from Entertainment Weekly. We are here live at New York Comic Con, and I am here with Rosario Dawson, star of Wonder Woman Bloodlines. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the plot of this movie. It's a bit of an orig origin story, is that correct? Yes. Um, you know, I've been voicing Wonder Woman for a few years now, and this gets to be her standout film that really gets into some of the classic storytelling of, you know, when Steve first lands with the mascara, um, and she, you know, gets this um, invitation basically through this opportunity to, to go and help bring him back home to go out into that greater world and leave and be an ambassador for her homeland, but also to be in complete culture shock because it's completely different from, you know, how she was raised and where she was grew up. and. By leaving that behind and joining this new space, she's confronted with a lot of different realities, yeah. including what the impact of her being in this new space is for the people around her. Um, and you know, she's powerful beyond measure. There's just magic extraordinaire, but she's also very human in that sense yeah. that you know she's got a lot of evolving and growth to do. So as she's out there fighting a lot of, alongside a lot of um, characters that the fans will love to yeah. see kind of resurrected into this story. Um, we're also, I think, in that modern storytelling of an old origin story right. of like really getting into the weed psychologically of a lot of these characters, which is really cool and fun. Well, and you, this is what, your fifth time voicing Wonder Woman, but her first, you know, sort of standalone film. What is the key as a voice actor to bringing this character to life? Um, definitely doing all the grunts and battle whoops and <laughs> stuff at the very end of recording because okay. that can be very straining for the voice. Um, but, you know, it's I, I, I've always loved animated films and cartoons and things growing up and how much, you know, story could be delivered in a sigh or a pause mm -hmm. or a purr, you know, a gr or a growl or a whoop or a yell. And the distinctions between those, you know, of like, you know, when she's in the middle of battle, what that sounds when she's swinging versus when she's getting attacked, um, when she's actually in pain versus when she's just struggling, you yeah. know? And, um, and I think it's just really fun to create a character so thoroughly with all of these other voice actors who you no normally don't even get to meet and with all of these animators who you know continue to to show you how it's developing as the project goes on because you just can't keep coming in every right. several months you know and then all of a sudden the film's done um, so it's just been a really wonderful collaborative effort I'm just so grateful that I've been able to voice this incredible character for so many years and be part of you know the 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 history right. of this incredible character and and you know she she meant a lot to my grandmother she meant a lot to my mom she means a lot to me she means a lot to my daughter you know going to see gal and the in the yeah. film and all coming out you know like <laughs> this it's just it's just really in, in, incredible to see how much this character has inspired so many people for so many generations what what is your first memory of Wonder Woman Growing up, definitely probably through my Uncle Gus, because my Uncle Gus is a, is a comic book artist, so all of the comics that I first came into contact with were in his library yeah. of perfectly, you know, encased in plastic, right. you know, <laughs> books that he didn't allow me to touch. Right, that exactly. he would, I would read over his shoulder like this, and he'd flip the pages because like my dirty kid hands couldn't mess with it. So, you know, I just really always grew up with comics being a sort of sacred text, and yeah. for him knowing, you know, that he wanted to be an artist from such a young age and developing that skill and what it's done to be able to provide for him and his family you know, has just really made me appreciate the art form yeah. of it and the reality. Like, along with the film, we're going to be premiering this short film um, that was inspired by Neil Gaiman's Sandman series, who I'm obsessed with. Neil Gaiman oh. is the best. Yeah. Um, and the short film's called Death. But, you know, it just, there's such a robust amount of storytelling that goes into these graphic novel novels and these different characters that just, you know, shows you just the impact and, and the necessity of these types of stories. Right. Now, you have a lot of other projects coming up, but mm -hmm. uh, one that we wanted to ask you about, Zombieland, Double mm -hmm. Tap. What can you tease about your role in the film? Um, well, I play a character named Nevada. And, uh, you know, what's fun about this is, you know, especially for the fans, this is 10 years after the first film came out. Um, so, you know, Im immediately upon encountering her that she survived this new world for at least 10 years. Um, and uh, she's, you know, she's a toughie. She's dynamic and she's funny and um, very independent um, and very capable. 
And it was just really fun because I've, I've been friends with Woody Harrelson for a lot of years. And then when the, the, the role came up, he was really emphatic that I do it with him. And I understand why, because he's like super vegan, super vegan products. Like he just comes into work and puts aloe on his face, and, you know? <laughs> so he didn't want to have like some, you know, non-vegan person coming in, like eating ribs in between takes and then trying to make out with him. He was just like, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, so it was just really fun because it was a totally different set than we normally do. It was only 10 hours of shooting every day, but just straight. So we'd just be there and he'd be eating these like little vegan raw snacks and stuff. And we'd just be doing these incredible fight scenes and you know I'm a huge fan of the first one, so to be there with all of the cast and and Ruben, the director, and every a lot of the same team came yeah. together for the writing and everything, and it just felt like this beautiful family that you got to be a part of, and then goof around and fight zombies all day. It was just the most amazing experience, and I'm so glad I'm mostly plant based, and that that's how I got the role. <laughs> <laughs> so you're his love interest? Um, well, no, there's like a there's like a dynamic between them. I'm not even supposed to share. I feel like I'm already messing up. Like sorry. <laughs> I was not trying to give any of that away, but like, no, there's, I didn't know, don't know why there's you no brought that up, but there's no making out whatsoever. <laughs> um, but there's, um, there's definitely an en you know, encounters and, and when they meet each other, there's, um, there's uh, a collaboration. Sure, why not? Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Rosario thank Dawson. You. Congrats on Wonder Woman Bloodline and all the other things you have coming up. Thank Stay you. tuned to EW.com for more from New York Comic Con. <laughs>